Okay, so correct these sentences. Did you ride on one of the paddle boats along the Missouri River? We've got some homophone problems. you got to remember what a homophone is. Remember, a homophone is a word that sounds the same, but it does not mean the same, and it's not spelled the same way. So there are, there is a homophone issue in here, for sure. Um, and then we've got a proper noun issue. We capitalize proper nouns. So you got to decide what needs to be capitalized in this sentence. It's not just the first word, which of course is always capitalized. Okay, so let me type that in for you just to make sure we're aware we've got uh, a proper noun that needs to be fixed. And we have a homophone problem. So be aware of those two things. All right, now let's look at number two. When you look at number two, um, we've got our favorite thing in the world, which is a speech tag. And when we have a speech tag, that means we have to have what punctuation? We've got to have quotations. Okay, so be very aware. This is nice and short, though. Larry shouted, look at that. So what did Larry shout? Remember, whatever the person has said, we have dialogue here, you have to have quotations around it. So make sure you are um, looking for that. And if you're shouting something, you also need to think about how you're going to punctuate that as well. So if I type that in for you, just be aware of we have a speech tag, and that should tell you that we have dialogue, which means quotations. Okay, so keep those things in mind. All right, let's go to the next one. We've got a homophone pair. And remember, I brought up homophones up in number one. Homophones, remember, sound the exact same, but they are spelled different and they mean something different. We have band and band. Exact same sound, but they mean something different. So what they've asked you to do is use these two words in one sentence. Okay, so you've got to decide what is a B-A-N-D band, the instruments. Some of you will be in band in a few years. And then banned. If you're banned from something, you aren't allowed in. Okay, use that. Use those two homophones in a sentence. Now look at number four. Um, prepositions. Prepositions. There's a great song that goes with it. Um, to remember every single preposition. I used to always teach my students. Uh, but we've got quite a few prepositions. We've got a list of prepositions you could access somewhere, I guarantee. But prepositions um, always are starting a prepositional phrase. He found the puppy under the porch. A preposition starts the phrase, and you can actually completely get rid of the prepositional phrase, and you will still have a sentence left over. And I want to point that out. If I get rid of the prepositional phrase, which I'm going to tell you is this. I just crossed it out. If I put a period after puppy, we'd still have a sentence. He found the puppy. That's perfectly fine. The prepositional phrase I crossed out. And remember, look at look at the direction that says circle the preposition. So keep that in mind. I'm not going to give you anything else there. Write a word that belongs in this group. And what they've given us is mauve, puce, indigo, and aqua. So you're going to have to look up these colors and find out what they look like. And then you're going to need to add a word that belongs in that group. Those are some fancy words for, the, for these, that particular color. Okay, so you're going to have to do a little research on that one. And then type in your answer. All right, have at it, guys.